Hi, this is Faye Heidi. I'm your Lund Solar Systems Customer Service Representative. Today we'll be talking about the LS60 THA Pressure Tune Telescope. Here we have the LS60 THA PT in its case as you would receive it. Inside you'll find your instruction sheet, information on how to warranty your product, and a brochure of our other solar products. Also in the case, you'll find a focuser locking screw, a 2 millimeter hex wrench, and keys for your case. Okay, now let's take out the 60 and have a look. You'll also receive it in a bag to protect it from any dust. Okay, now here we have the LS60 with the B1200 blocking filter. Some visual users will choose the B600. And here we have your pressure tuner knob, your focuser, and this is where that locking screw will go. That will prevent any slippage if you're using heavy camera equipment or heavy eyepieces. Also, the 2 millimeter hex key will allow you to adjust your tension in the bottom of the focuser if need be, but of course you'll want to try this out before you do any adjustments. You'll find here you have your fine focus, and coarse focus for the telescope. Also on your telescope you will have received a clamshell mounting ring. You'll notice there's three holes. These are all tapped for quarter 20 threading so it'll be compatible with, with most dovetails that you would be using. Now back to the pressure tuner. When you're initially setting up you'll want to actually unscrew this all the way off of the brass cylinder. This will allow you to reset your pressure to your location. We recommend doing a bit of a counter spin to get it in place and then tightening it back down. You'll want to do this when you're actually looking through the telescope so that you can find your proper tuning point. These are the basics of what you'll receive with your LS60 THA pressure tune telescope. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at sales at luntsolarsystems.com. Stay tuned for more of these instructional videos. Thanks for watching.